Okay, this is sections 2.3 through 2.5, and it's on averages, standard deviation, and, and also percentiles. Well, uh, we have our sample data that we had before, and we're going to find out just about everything that we can from this sample data, such as the sample mean, median mode, and so on. And if we put this sample data into our Excel sheet under raw data, once we get that data in there, we automatically know what the mean is, and that's the average, which is where you add up all your scores and you divide by the number of scores. So the average of these uh, values are, is 51.4. The median, or the middle score, also known as the 50th percentile, is 51. The range, the highest score minus the lowest score, is 56. The variance, if this was a sample, is uh, 320.67. The variance of a population, and you'd have to be told whether this is a sample or a population, but if it was a population, it would be 304.64. The sample standard deviation, if this was a sample, the sample standard deviation was 17.9, and if this was a population, the population standard deviation would be 17.45. And again, you'd have to be told whether it's a sample or a population. Uh, you could also find quartiles. Quartile is every uh, 25 percentile. Just like the median is the 50th percentile, the first quartile is the 25th percentile. So the 25th percentile in this data, in other words, the 25th percent above bottom is 36. The third quartile, think of three quarters, well that's 75 percent, the third quartile is 66.25. So that's, that's the score that you need to have 75 percent of the people score below you. This is the lowest score. Uh, sorry, highest score is uh, 78, and the lowest score is 72. And then if you want any percentile for this raw data, you just put it in here. Like, for example, if we wanted to get the 80th percentile, you would just type in 0.8 here, and that gives you the percentile for that raw data. Now, sometimes it asks you what is the mean, median, mode, or range, or whatever. Uh, oh, notice that mode is not given here. So for mode, you do have to do that by hand, and that's the score that occur occurs most frequently. So if you look through these uh, values here, we would see that 50 comes up a couple times. That comes up two times. 33 comes up two times. And I believe another value comes up two times, like 77. So since there's a tie, for the three-way tie for the number of times that scores come up, this thing would have, uh, this, the, this data set would have three modes. And if you check that to our values that we have here, like our mean, our mode, there's three modes. That, again, you have to do by hand. And um, there's the formula for sample standard deviation and sample variance. And we needed to figure those out, so we would have used sample on these because it says this is sample data. So that's why on this Excel sheet, the values we would use if it says what is this for this sample data what is the standard deviation we would use sample standard deviation if it said what is the variance for this sample it's 320 now we also have uh, other things calculated here uh, like here is more data here and it says let's say this was population well if this was population data that doesn't affect the mean or the median. That still turns out to be the same numbers, and the mode would be, still be the same, but the population standard deviation and variance formula are slightly changed, which make these the values that they are. And if we go over and look at uh, the value for population standard deviation, it should be 17.45. And there it is, 17.45. And the other values line up the way they were. Now, Going on to um, group data, if we want to find the mean or median or percentiles or standard deviation for group data, first you have to get your data into groups. So we automatically have our data in groups here, and here it is in the five groups. And again, you can specify the groups here and the number, number of decimal places, would, which would be zero on this data since it's whole numbers. Then just click the Copy button here and it copies it over to your group data area. At this point, automatically your mean for the table is calculated, the standard deviation for your table is calculated, and if you wanted to find out the median, you would just put that percentile in here. The median, again, is equal to the 50th percentile, so I would just type in 0.5 right here, 
and I would get the median for the group data to be 51.5. If I wanted the first quartile, then you'd have to type in 0.25 right here, and you'd get the first quartile. If you wanted the third quartile, type in 0.75, and you get the third quartile. Deciles are every 10 percentiles. So, for example, if we wanted the sixth, sixth decile, the sixth decile, then that would be 0.6, because the sixth decile is equal to the 60th percentile, and that value then would be 56.06 represents the 60th percentile, or the third decile would be the 30th percentile, which is 40.3. And so really that's everything that you need to know from chapter two then.